Guys, I went a whole day without dropping a video on my main channel. I did drop a classic on my uh, other channel. Go check it out, the coffee shop I did. General Grievous vs. Tulak Horde from Star Wars. But, um, yeah, I went a whole... I feel terrible for that. If you're watching this live stream, hit an F in the chat for me not dropping a video on the main. I'm dropping at least two today, but aiming for three. Give me your spirit energy. Hopefully, I get the energy to do all that today. I'm looking forward to it. But anyways, I was spending the day yesterday um, finishing up my Grievous video and also learning more about Sephiroth, which is the video you're watching today. That is, I had to learn Final Fantasy VII. In doing so, I kind of quickly realized, probably about 10 to 15 minutes in, that this video title would be obvious. Basically, it's just Sephiroth being a dick the cloud and ruining his day. That's <laughs> that's all he does. That's like as soon as I was like, yo, Sephiroth is an asshole, but we're here for it. So I hope you guys enjoy. And if you like this video and this type of content, let's try to get this to 500 likes. That would be amazing. Um, also, I'm thinking about bringing him over to do a versus battle on my second channel. What do y'all think of Darth Sidious from Legends versus Sephiroth? Let me know in the comment section down below. But anyways. Let's get into this. I hope you guys enjoy and uh, let's begin. So first we're going to talk about the burning building scene now. Cloud, if you don't know, this poor bastard is plagued by the goon himself, Sephiroth. Uh, Sephiroth, just brief uh, rundown. When he was a fetus, he was like enhanced with these cells that basically gave him the strongest of power out of all the versions to do it in the soldier experiment and this is because he can tap into like the boundless power of the life energy and the life stream of the earth right and so in doing so he becomes basically a crazy ass eco terrorist and he drags cloud into this burning building cloud's tripping balls right like he's looking around he's like yo what's what's going on he sees sephiroth he's like yo sephiroth you can't be here and sephiroth is like look bitch i came back and guess what guess what when i came back i evolved so you fell into the live stream if you didn't know got a mega amp like basically is as strong as it can manipulate it all that and he's considered evolved and he's talking mad shit to cloud at this point talking to him about how like yo you you can't forget me you can't forget to come after me because like I, I remember when your mom was like begging for her life and you got folded there wasn't shit you could do about it i was like damn several like why are you being such an asshole but yeah several was like yo real talk I'm saving the earth and all this because I want to save memories like that. And I was like, Cloud, you have you have to swing, bro. This man's talking mad reckless. And we learn and you see that he used this burning uh, fire illusion. It turned out to be an illusion uh, just to amp Cloud, just to gas him up, to get him to beef with Big Sephiroth. Now, you'll see quickly moving on from here and you'll get it from my perspective is like damn all he does is mind hacks in bullshit cloud like next moment on here he literally um mind hacks his cloud and clouds like oh my god who are you clouds tripping right he never knows what's real anymore at this point because he's always getting bamboozled he's like what are you sephiroth goes i'm everything and i'm like dude who <laughs> Like, he's such a bro. Just tell him who you are, dog. Like, just let just let him know the vibes. But, yeah, nah, he he literally spends, like, most of his time on screen trolling the shit out of um his boy Cloud and, like, literally just making him hallucinate. Next, we have the time um, that he lets Cloud know the vibes in terms of his power. So... If you don't know, there are these beings in the lore called the Ancients. The Ancients were old ones uh, on Earth, like before normal civilization, who had found a way to manipulate the bountiful energy of the life stream. 
that is the energy of earth right and this energy is like spirit will mind all that kind of combined into one and they were super powerful because they could warp it manipulate it all this sephiroth has the blood of the ancients running through his blood and he lets cloud know he's like yo real shit like <laughs> i'm literally built to fuck everything up so like we let's beef because i'm the big dog and that's true by the way like sephiroth really is the big dog of uh his game and uh his narrative but yeah sephiroth literally built to be the big dog in his verse and be an absolute goon next moment in this disrespect saga of sephiroth we see him pull up again with the mind hacks on cloud but this is way more disrespectful because we see this occur in front of his homies right like not only is he getting flexed on it it was bad enough when he was getting flexed on alone looking absolutely foolish because if you get shit on the way he was by sephiroth like you're feeling dumb on your own, right? Your ego takes a hit. Like, even if no one witnesses, you're, you're going to be sitting there like, God damn it, like, I really just got mauled. But he gets flexed on in front of his homies. Like, literally, Sephiroth makes him experience the mind hacks in front of his boys. And he's like, yo, I don't understand why you're so against taking L's and getting your ass beat. Because I feel like you get a little better and you get a little stronger from the losses. So... Don't you enjoy when I destroy you? And Cloud was just tight because, like, yo, he's getting mind hacks and it's in front of his people. It was <laughs> several just constantly did that throughout the game. Speaking of the homies, they can take the L to Sephiroth too. You see, he then goes on to mind hacks them. And remember how I told y'all, like, he, he's on this weird eco terrorist vibe? That's what he was doing here. He was showing them, like, basically, the Earth will get folded. And that's why Sephiroth is like, nah, I'm not going to let that happen. I'm the savior. Y'all are trash. All this. But just the fact that he's scaring them like that and made them have to be like, oh, no, you're not really the hero. Like, he's playing absolute mind games with him. But just, he, he was riding for the Earth regardless. But, yeah, he genuinely believes, like, he's the GOAT and he's going to save Earth. And like I said, he's he's riding for Earth because it's tied directly to him. And he, he, know, he feels responsible for its safety and he doesn't want to go out like a bitch. Which is basically the whole reason he's wilding out like this. And he's talking shit to the group and he's like, Yo, Cloud, why don't you embrace me? Just come embrace me, big dog. Like, pull up. And Cloud does go to do so and ends up getting BFR'd like a bum. Yep. Once more, Sephiroth ruining Cloud's day by being an absolute bully. Now, one of the points was this company Shinra Energy was hella sus. And they needed to get their group, Cloud and his homies, out of trouble. And get them out of the frame job from Shinra, basically, right? Like, it was, there, it was a bad situation. And the president of Shinra was crucial in clearing their name. This was obviously put in jeopardy when the boy Sephiroth stabbed the president of Shinra. <laughs> he just pulls up on him and stabs him. And then Cloud told me Barrett was there because, you know, he was the one pressing the president. Um, he gets dunked on. I mean, absolutely bodied by Sephiroth. That's right. Sephiroth immediately tries to put one of Cloud's best friends on a t-shirt for his troubles now the funny thing about Sephiroth this was kind of dumb because you know it took away from his moment but it also boosts his goon status was when he stabbed um, Barrett um, and left him to die obviously he was trying to put him on a t-shirt Barrett eventually comes back spiritually and it's revealed basically his fate wasn't to die there to Sephiroth, therefore he wasn't gonna die right there. So basically, fate had to intervene to save Sephiroth's ops. That's high tier goon level magic to make fate have to like run the fade for you. We see the team have a bridge fight scene. Had a, they had a bunch of battles on the bridge, right? Like it was a pretty dope moment. A lot of uh, dope scenes in the uh, 
cutscenes, and it was a great team victory for Cloud and his gang. Unfortunately, the mood was spoiled by the boy Sephiroth showing up, uh, making eye contact with all of them, and basically uh, instantly ruining their day, as he always does. And that's when we see him cut out, open a portal and be like, yo, come run my fade. He then goes into the portal. Of course, Cloud, he's being a real one. He tries to run up. He gets stopped by his homie. They then find out that <laughs> it's kind of funny and solidifies his goon status. Um, he, so there, he is right. There, you know, Earth does have victims. There are souls in the life stream that are screaming and crying in agony. But it turns out Big Sephiroth is the reason for that and is like the worst thing for Earth, even though he thinks what he's doing is right. And it turns out these like clouds like, yo, does Sephiroth hear the voices? Like, why doesn't he react to them if he cares about Earth? They're like, yo, they don't reach him. He doesn't care. <laughs> like he he doesn't hear them. He's just like I somehow just passively ignoring the pleas of his victims as he's trying to do what he thinks is the best move. So it's kind of, it's kind of funny that he's literally ignoring a lot like the live stream full of complaints because he's the big dog. Now, finally and again, if you love Sephiroth, let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see him versus Sidious or if you can think of another great matchup. But um anyways, this moment is when he BFRs him and Cloud to the edge of creation. And he basically tells Cloud, look, this is the edge of creation. Eventually, Earth, the live stream, all that shit, comes here, joins this, becomes this. Becomes, like, basically irrelevant because it's at the end of creation. Where it's, like, where nothingness. Like, you're, it's irrelevant. And he's like, I'm not going out like that, dog. Let's combine our power, make sure we both don't take the L's, and we can dip up out of here. Of course, Cloud doesn't comply because he's not hes not a real one like Sephiroth. And they fight, and we see Sephiroth actually disarm him in this fight. That's right, big Sephiroth. His, he just didn't want to take the L, bro. It's entirely reasonable. He was like, yo, I'm not going out like a bitch. And he, he just didn't want to become irrelevant like the rest of the stars in the cosmos. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you think Sephiroth is a goon, let me know which tier you think he is, one through four. Personally, I'd put him at about a three, a low three. Uh, he's the strongest, so it's kind of easy for him to be a goon, to be fair. But he is funny, and he literally just ruins Cloud's day all the time when he could be doing other shit, to be honest. But yeah, anyways... Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been your boy Jobbers and Goons. Drop some comments down below to hype me up to do more videos today and give me that energy. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see y'all later. Peace.